Welcome back to Carnades.org, and welcome back from our long hiatus. We are officially back here at Carnades.org, and going to be back producing videos at at least a one video a week rate. And to welcome us back, we're going to have a full month of paradoxes. Check those out also on the channel going up today. But to really welcome us back, I wanted to tackle an argument for the existence of God, for old time's sake. The argument we're going to be looking at here is the modal epistemic argument for the existence of God. This is an argument that actually I found on YouTube originally and did some research and found the full philosophical argument behind it. It's quite interesting. I found it originally through the Dutch philosopher, who is a YouTube creator who has some interesting stuff. You should check him out. And the original argument was offered by Immanuel Rutten. The argument goes as follows. For all propositions P, if P is necessarily unknowable, not known in any possible world, then P is necessarily false, not true in any possible world. The proposition God does not exist is necessarily unknowable. It's not known in any possible world. Therefore, God does not exist is necessarily false. It's false in all possible worlds. Therefore, God exists necessarily. If you look at the argument, the form of it seems valid, so let's take a look at some of the premises. Premise 1. It seems that it would be odd for there to be some proposition that is true and yet not known in any possible world. That seems strange to us. Remembering that all possible worlds basically encompass all of possibility. Anything that is possible out there is known in some possible world. And so it would be weird for something to be true and yet not known in any of those possible worlds. And if there is even one possible world where some being knows all things that can be known or knows all truths, then it would follow that all truths are in fact known and all falsehoods would be not known. So, the principle would hold. Basically, if you think there is a contingent omniscient being out there in even one possible world, it seems that this principle should hold. Premise 2. Proposition God does not exist is necessarily unknowable. It's not known in any possible world. It seems that there could be two identical universes, one with God and the other without and we'd never be able to tell the difference. So it doesn't seem possible for us to know that God doesn't exist. It doesn't seem that there's any possible world where we can really be certain of it. I've argued a couple times against kind of dogmatic atheism, the idea that you can know for certain that God doesn't exist, and it seems plausible that this proposition is necessarily unknowable. Another way to put it is, is there anything that you can think of that would make you certain that God does not exist? Not just relatively certain, 100% perfectly certain that God does not exist. It's an interesting question to think about. Therefore, three, God does not exist is necessarily false, false in all possible worlds. This follows logically from one and two modus ponens. Therefore, God exists necessarily. Follows logically from three with double negation. So, basically, if we cannot know that God does not exist, he must exist. For now, go ahead and offer your comments and objections in the comments below. I'm going to try to get a video up on my own objections to this argument. They're going to be pretty interesting. But until then, watch the new month of Paradox every single day this month. Welcome back, and stay skeptical, everybody.